Hi guys. <coughs> okay, let me clear my throat <coughs> first. We just had a like a barbecue buffet. Oh and no, we, too much buffet. Okay, and we came back just in time to share with you at 8.30 p.m. Okay, so we came today to share with you about how you can profit from the bear and... And yet you can prepare for the boom. Okay, if you can hear us, okay, can you just type yes? Okay, so that we know that you can hear us and we know that we can start. Okay, so if you can hear us, please type yes so that we can start. Okay? Okay, so Joe, um, how do you find the buffet just now? Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad, lah. Okay, if you all want, actually, I can send you the link. Okay, so anyway, we're just waiting for people to join us. And if you can hear us, please type yes so that we know that you can hear us. Hello, Yinan. Okay, Sadi, Yu Kai, Wei Zi, Kelvin. Wow, so many people. Wow, and we are so excited because market is going to open in one hour. Wow, I'm so yeah. excited, you know, Joe. So many things that we can do when yeah, market yeah, opens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Alright, it looks like Edmund has joined us as well. Hi, Edmund. Hello, Edmund. Okay, hey, and who else? Anybody else? Anybody else coming in? Okay, so while waiting for people to come in, right? Hey, Joe, um, just want to... Why don't you just share with everyone who is early, okay? Mm. What do you notice from the pre-market today? Pre-market, ah. okay. For those of you who know what pre-market is, okay, you should have seen that. Wow, today might be a, quite a red day. Wow, how do you know, ah, Joe? Actually, I used an app, okay? Um, maybe in the next, or later or in the next video, we can tell you, okay? We really forgot to include this part in. Okay, so anyway, since for the early birds, let's just share this part. Lah. So, mm. yeah, okay, what app do you use, Joe, to find out uh, about the pre-market? Yeah, I use Seeking Alpha. Seeking Alpha. So, what do you uh, realize from Seeking Alpha? Wow, minus, 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 minus. Okay, so it seems like all the stocks in a coordinated fashion, it seems to be going down. Huh? Mm. Okay, so it looks like today when market opens in one hour's time, we are going to see the market go... Down. Go down. So we are going to be seeing a bloodbath today, a bear today, yeah? Okay, but okay, please do note that pre-market is not a it's not a predictor. Okay. Never never try to use pre-market to read to predict. It rather uh, to me, I use it as a reference, as a benchmark. Okay, so anyway, that's why today we want to actually share on how you can actually profit, okay, for not just the bear market but the bull market. Because we know that the bear market comes only once in every 10 years and we want to capitalize on that. Yeah, more or less, okay, a major one will come mm. once every 10 years. So my question is, how many 10 years do you have yes, in your life? Yes, correct. Okay, so, um, okay, do we have people who are able to, to hear us? Can we sell stock at pre-market way to, uh, too bad, no la, okay? Okay, but you can actually use the pre-market to have a sensing of how the market would go roughly, okay, for that day. So the pre-market opens at around like what, 4 p.m., right? At 4 30 4, p.m. 4, 30 Singapore PM. time. Yes, and that is where we sort of get uh, pre-news, okay, on ah. how the market is going to do. Yeah. yeah. So we can actually start planning our actions at like 4 o'clock yeah. or 4.30. So it's like a movie trailer, all right? You watch the trailer, you roughly know what the movie is about, but you don't know the ending. Oh, hi, Henry is here with us as well. Yeah, and we want to congratulate Henry. Henry, there was such a turnaround in your portfolio. Congratulations. Yeah, we are yeah, so happy yeah, yeah, for yeah. you. Okay. So anyway, uh, I think let's just start. How many people do we have on already? We should have 29 if I'm not wrong. Okay. Um, shall we just uh, begin already? I think uh, more or less we have everyone. Yeah. Can, oh, Clement, can I put option now? Oh, sorry. No. You can, you can try to put in the order, but it will still be a working order. Yeah. Okay. So uh, whatever you do, you have to wait till market opens uh, at 9.30. Okay. This is the reason why we are actually doing this live session at 8.30 so that the moment you finish this entire webinar, you can start taking actions, all right? Mm. Okay, Joe, shall we go? Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, so uh, just for those who have not uh, actually heard from us before, okay, so let's introduce ourselves. Okay, obviously, I'm the husband, I'm Joe. Okay, and I'm Sarah, though I'm actually the one who wears the pants most of the time. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so for me, I'm Mr. Fundamental Analysis. My whole aim is actually to collect good businesses at a very sensible price. Okay, so I'm actually the human one la, because I actually use an emotional approach. I'm the one with the emotions. Ah. Okay, so I'm able to actually read market psychology and market trends so that I can actually help us enter and exit on time on good businesses. Okay, mm. so we just want to share that, you know, together we are better because you need both FA and TA to be able to capitalize the market. 
uh, in the best possible way. And together, of course, we are better. Yes, because FA better. and TA comes together, it becomes Sparta. In Chinese, it means to be very, very prosperous. And we hope for that for all of you here today. Okay, so, all right, let's just share uh, about our journey in value investing, you know, okay. for those of us who actually may not know our journey. Yeah, because uh, we have some new people here. Yeah. Okay, so mm. let's go. All right, so, okay, for those who are not too sure, okay, we were actually exposed to value investing. Um, maybe late 2018. Yeah. All right. That was actually our first journey, our first step in this uh, investing journey. Yep. All right. And guess what happened? Um, from then, we actually... Okay. So if for those of you who actually were already in the market in 2018, uh, you will know that actually there was a minor correction then. Mm. Okay. Mm. So we, we were exposed to value investing and actually all we did was read. La. Yeah. And then we read and then we took action. No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we're action takers. La, but okay. For we didn't... Us, yeah. or crazy or stupid. Okay. Or so we just took action based on what we read and we actually lost 14%. Because mm. why? Because we bought the stocks and then there was correction. And yeah. at that point in time, we didn't know anything about technical analysis. We didn't know anything about options. All we knew was actually um, how to select good companies. Yeah. Right? Okay. And we really, really gained a lot from all these books. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So after we lost the 14K, we thought to ourselves, okay, you know, um, okay, this is really bad. Okay. And we got actually frozen, right? Yeah. Okay. And after we got frozen, uh, what then happened was that, what did we decide to do? We decided to really, really go and learn properly, invest yeah. in ourselves. Yes. And from then on, we are very, very happy to say, okay, from after we, we were frozen, we tore ourselves, we unfreeze. Yeah. Okay. We didn't fry ourselves this time. Yeah. So, and our ROI is actually an average of. Okay. Uh, we, I can't remember how much actually, but. <laughs> because this, this time around, really, the profits are amazing. Eh? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, consistent profits, la, regardless yeah. of bear or bull market. Correct, correct. Yeah, and this was actually only possible, right? Uh, because we actually made the single most important decision that we have ever made in our investing journey, and that is actually to learn everything, you know? Yeah. We really learn FA, and then we learn TA. And then we learn options. And really, when you use all these three together, right, it can be really, really powerful and it allows you to generate profits regardless of bear or bull. Mm, yeah. Mm. Okay. So, okay. So, we actually spent like $20,000, yeah, right? Together, we spent more, slightly more than $20,000. Okay. So, yeah. that's like almost 10K per person. Yeah. And people think we are crazy because they will be thinking, like, hey, why don't just like Joe go la, or maybe just Sarah go? Why, why do both of you actually have to spend $10,000 each to go? Yeah. Right. And in order to answer the question, we, we really believe that we we will interpret things differently, yeah. even at the same cost. Yeah. And we will be able to learn from each other's differences. Okay. And really complement each other. Yeah. And actually, uh, through learning all these causes, right, we then came to realize that actually Joe's strength is really in the fundamental analysis, right? I think not only that, I have a lot. Okay. I mean, uh, apart, apart from all the other strengths that you have, okay, in terms of investing, your, your strength is really in mm, finding mm, good businesses. Mm. Yeah. And for myself, because Joe, right, he really cannot stand the charts. Lah. So for myself, actually, yeah, I, I do the dirty work. Lah. I do all the technical analysis and I go and read the trends and the market psychology and then I tell him, hey, okay, your, your strong business, right? Okay. Now can enter already. Not a very good time to enter. Yeah. And my reply is, huh? Okay. And then we just enter. Lah. Okay. Mm. So, I mean, that's how we complement one another. And yeah, uh, we have actually been very happy doing this together. Yeah, so I mean, just uh, last year, right? Yeah. Yeah, so just last year, we actually uh, shared our uh, our FATA philosophy, which is the mm. FA and TA philosophy together with a very huge crowd. I think mm. it was a 500, uh, 500 pack crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we really shared our hearts out together with our friend, uh, Daniel. Okay, and uh, we were also um, in front of a very huge crowd. I think it was around 500 plus as well. We were actually in this Never mm. Work Again conference. Yeah. yeah, and that was when... Together uh, with our mentor, Sean. Yeah, you know, our mentor, Sean. And Sean has been so amazing, you know. I, I think one of the most important things to have in your investment journey is a good mentor. Yeah. Yeah, someone who really, you know, who, who really corrects you when your concept is wrong. Yeah, and who really, really dares to push you beyond your limits. I think yeah. that, that is really the value mm. of a very good mentor. Yeah. And really, really thanks to him. Mm. Yeah, we were actually being able to be very, very consistent in terms of our passive income. And we also got the opportunity to share our FATA philosophy yeah. Yeah, to, uh, 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 was it 500 packs? I, I, there, right? I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, and Joe declared his love for me then as well. So yeah, sweet. Yeah, yeah. And you can see uh, Sean's priceless face. Huh? Mm. Okay, and uh, along with that, actually, we also really, really enjoy, because we ourselves uh, have benefited from a very good mentor. Yeah, so we also really, really enjoy teaching others and mentoring others. So you can see, okay, our house, 
uh, we just packed it the day before. Lah. Mm. Okay, then you can see we actually uh, enjoy hosting uh, portfolio consultation sessions. Mm. And we also enjoy like hosting just small group sessions to just discuss about option strategies, mm. fundamental analysis, technical analysis in detail. We also do uh, training sessions as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, our faces I have to be blocked because actually we are still we are still working, working full time. Work. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not so nice of the company because okay, they don't believe in having alternative sources of income. So yeah. I we figured that we better block our faces. Okay? okay, so anyway, you can just enjoy our cartoons for now. And actually at this on this point, right, we also want to share with you, right, that it's possible, right, to earn consistent profits even when you are doing this part time. Mm. Yeah. It's definitely possible because yeah. Look, this is what we have been doing. Yeah, and actually, Joe, how much time do we spend every day, like on on the market? Fifteen minutes a day. Fifteen minutes a day, and I'm sure you know. I'm sure you can afford that as well. Yeah. yeah. So if we can, so can you. Mm. Right. Okay. So on to our agenda for today. Okay. So all right, we will be sharing with you our overall market outlook for the U.S. market only. All right. We will also share with you two very very powerful actions you can take. We will also want to give you powerful resources that can last your lifetime. Okay, and towards the end, we will also share with you our complete watch list and entry prices. Um, please do note that this is our own study, our own homework. So um, you may agree, you may disagree, but this is just for reference, all right? And please do your own diligence. Yeah, and after this entire webinar is over, you know, just continue to ask us questions in the comment section below and we'll be so happy to answer any questions that you have. All yeah. right? Okay, mm -hmm. so let's just, let's go. Huh? Okay, so we will start with the overall market outlook. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, we have actually officially entered a bear market. Okay, so by definition, what is actually the bear market? The bear market is when the um, the the index right of the country actually closes twenty percent below its all time high. Okay, so here we are talking specifically about the U.S. market, and at the last market close that was last Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, what happened was that uh, S and P five hundred actually dropped twenty points from 3,393 all the way down to 2,711. Okay, so officially, we have actually entered the bear market. Yeah. Okay, and um, what is very interesting about this particular bear market, okay, later on, we'll be sharing with you all the other bear markets that, uh, that has been present in this history. Okay, so um, the very interesting thing about this bear market is that the speed of drop is unprecedented. Mm. Usually, the market takes months and months to drop 20%, but this time, it's it fell almost in a straight line. You can see, it's a 90 degree straight line over here. You can see, 90 degrees straight line, and you can see over here, a 90 degree straight line, okay? And, okay, so because uh, for us, we actually also use technical analysis, and um, the speed of drop is so fast that usually, right, we, we actually wait, uh, actually the moving average, okay, would actually cross over. Like, for example, over here, you can see, like, uh, this is the 50-day moving average, the orange is 150, and the 200-day 200, the moving average is in red. Usually, we would see, like, the green cross under the yellow, and the yellow cross under the red before this 20% happens. But this time round, it happens so fast, okay, that the 20-day moving average is still above the 150, above the 200, Okay. But the exponential moving averages, okay, which actually gives a higher weightage to current prices, you can see that the crossover has started to happen. Okay, so this is a bit small, so we have actually a zoomed in picture over here. Mm, mm. Yeah, so <laughs> she needs to go and clear her throat, so I'm supposed to take over, but actually I don't know what to say. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, la, so that's why I missed technical analysis. Okay, so uh, if you can uh, see, right, these moving averages, okay, uh, because they do not give weightage to the current prices, so um, you can see that they are a bit uh, lagging. La. So you can see uh, the 50-day moving average is still above the 150-day moving average, still above the 200-day moving average. Okay, so if let's say you um, you are you only know very basic TA, you may actually be very ignorant and you may not even know that the bear market has happened if you only follow this particular indicator. Okay, mm -hmm. but thankfully for us, we actually look at uh, a few indicators. Okay, like for example, uh, if you actually look at the exponential moving averages, okay, so what has happened is that the fifth, uh, the fifty day uh, exponential moving average has already uh, sorry actually this is twenty day uh, sorry my mistake uh, this is twenty day exponential moving average in green has already crossed under the hundred and fifty day and even crossed under the two hundred day uh, exponential moving average. So this is a very very clear signal of a uh, bear market and the speed of drop is really very very fast. Mm. Okay, so. 
Okay, so what is the significance of this? Uh? Now, the last time we saw such a fast drop, right, was actually the 2018 bear market. Okay, so if you had stayed with us from the beginning, you would remember that 2018 was the time that we started. Mm. Remember, we read those two books and then with those two books, we thought we can conquer the entire investment market. <laughs> yeah, how naive. Okay, so what happened was that we actually, you know, started here. We tried to... <laughs> We tried to learn everything through the two books. Okay, we started here, here. Mm. And then what happened after we started buying the stocks? Da, 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 okay, in two months, okay, everything actually dropped by 20%. Uh. Okay, the, the indexes dropped by 20%. All the good companies that we bought actually all dropped by 20%. And we actually lost our full capital, right? That was... No, 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 no. We lost quite a lot. Quite a lot, we, right? Almost 20%. Yeah, and we lost like 6K, you know, overnight, you know. Mm. And um, I think that was actually because, right, we we actually based everything on our our knowledge of the two books, okay? Uh, and we didn't know which positions to hold, which positions to close. We didn't know how to read the trends. We didn't... Uh, we actually didn't even know how to read the read the financial reports, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think most importantly is we did not have any mentorship. I think all we had, right, were just the knowledge from the two books. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we have a question actually. The, oh. um, okay, we have a is question. Actually asking, uh, okay. How, how come in? Okay, we will talk. Usually, we will use like uh, twenty, fifty, and two hundred EMA. Okay. How come we use twenty, hundred, fifty, and two hundred? Oh, okay. So why do we use that, right? It's because um, I find that the fifty, right. Uh, sometimes it can be overly sensitive. Okay, mm. so actually I, I prefer to use the 150 day moving average because it is less sensitive. At the same time, if let's say a signal happens, right, it is actually more stable and more reliable. Yeah. So personally, I would prefer to use the 20 day, 150 day and 200 day. But um, actually for Yunneng, right, if you actually use your own moving averages, you would actually see the same patterns as well. Yeah. You would actually see that actually the moving averages are very slow to respond yeah, to this current drop as well. Okay, do we, do we have any other questions? No, no, no. Okay, so you know, I, I hope that we answered your question. Yeah. Okay, so uh, moving on, right? But so thankfully, right, uh, when it was actually at the bottom, thankfully, we actually bought, uh, we actually bought Facebook lah. Yeah. $125, thankfully, you yeah. know. That was actually a blind call. Yeah, okay, yeah. so anyway, as you can see, right, bear markets, right, at the end of the day, it will actually change. Mm. There will be a reversal of trend to a bull market. Mm. Yeah, so even though we lost 6k overnight, thankfully we bought Facebook over here during the bear market. Yeah. Yeah, so during the bear market is a, is a very, very important time for you to accumulate good stocks. Okay, so for example, we accumulated uh, Facebook lah. Yeah. Okay, during the bear market and boom, therefore during the bull market, okay, we actually made quite a good profit, okay, from mm. Facebook. Yeah. Right? Okay, so um, the bear the bear market actually comes once every a major one usually comes every one once every ten years. Every ten years. So in this case, in twenty eighteen, okay, as quickly as it dropped two months, okay, it actually rebounded again after uh, two to three months. Mm. Okay, let's take a look at um uh, a bear market that happened like ten years ago. Okay, so uh remember one major bear market happens every ten years on average. Okay, so in two thousand and nine, this was actually such a major bear market that. Um, the experts actually termed it as a recession. And in fact, um, it was not just a 20% drop, there was a 57% drop. And it happened not just in within a few weeks or a few months, but it happened over the course of one year. Okay? Yeah. And and because the, the drop was actually very slow and very steady, right? Okay. Mm. Um, the, the increase, the rebound also took place over a very long period of time. So you can see that, you know, even though the drop took place, okay, in the, over the course of one year, it act, every year there was only a recovery of around 25%, 25%, 25%, and then finally reached the previous high. Okay, so right now we are actually in very exciting times. Mm. We are very in exciting times. Why, Joe? Why are we in exciting times now? Actually, okay, okay, because this bear market, okay, we foresee that it's going to be quite a big bear. All right, it's not yes. a baby bear, it's not even a teenager. This is going to be a full-blown adult. Whether you turn into Godzilla, nobody knows. Yeah, and or, it precisely because the drop is so unprecedented, it was a 20% drop within two weeks. And bearing in mind, right, that every bear market comes once in every 10 years. You know, this the next time this happens, it may be 10 years later. So our question, right, to you is, what are you going to do with this opportunity? Mm. Yeah, because there's so much that you can do in this opportunity. Like what uh, we mentioned earlier, in 2018, we actually used the bear market to actually buy, buy good companies. And yeah. at that point in time, we were actually doing it blindly because yeah. we were basing our knowledge on just the two books, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. right now, okay, right now, with all the investment knowledge that we have, 
with all the understanding that we have on how to read financial statements, definitely we are going to be collecting very strong companies yeah, yeah. during this period of time. Yeah, and after this, okay, you know, the bear market will not happen forever. After that, we are going to see the bull market and that's where we are mm. going to reap massive gains from our yeah. collection during this period of time. Yeah. Okay, so, um, okay, of course, the million dollar question is how much more and how much longer will it drop, right? Okay, so uh, this actually is the, uh, the list of all the bear markets that has ever happened. Okay, so the bear markets could actually uh, be as short as three to five months. Okay, like for example, the 2018 uh, correction over here. Okay, or it can be as long as 1.5 to 2 years. Okay, and you really never know how long it will take. So the 1.5 to 2 years would be, for example, the 2007, 2008 uh, market, uh, bear market. Okay, and um, also the peak to trough, trough, trough drawdown, right, has been an average of 29%. Okay. So how do they calculate this, right? Okay, so on average, right, without a recession being declared, okay, the bear market typically would actually, okay, S and P five hundred would actually typically drop, okay, a twenty nine percent from the high. So right now, remember, we are already twenty percent from the peak, huh? Yeah. Okay, and if let's say um a recession happens, on average, it will drop all the way, okay, forty two percent from its high. Mm. Okay, and currently now we are down twenty percent. Okay, so. Joe, based on this data, do you think we have reached the bottom? I don't really don't think so. Okay, mm -hmm. I may be wrong, but I think there is still a lot more to drop. Okay, yes. because nobody knows what this virus, how long this virus is going to yes. hang around. Mm. Um, will there be a vaccine? Nobody knows. And what? how much impact does this virus have on the markets, on the economy, really? Um, there are a lot of fears, but exactly how bad it is, we need to wait to see. Okay, so it seems like the bear is about to continue. Huh? We are going to see at least maybe another nine percent, yeah, to maybe mm. another even another twenty percent drop. Yeah. Okay, so you know you really cannot ignore this signs anymore. You really need to do something in this bear market. All right. Okay. So now we want to share with you. Okay. So now that we know Mr. Bear is here and is here to stay. Okay. What are two powerful actions you can take? Okay. So this is the exciting part. Okay. Okay. For me, okay, what we are doing right now is like we are buying put options at dead cat bounces. Okay. You may be asking, what is a dead cat bounce? All right. Um, from a very simple point of view. All right. You just look at this chart. Okay. This is the two thousand eight to two thousand nine bear market. Okay. My question to you is, do you think the market drops in a straight line? Okay. The answer is no, because for every bear market, every bull market, it does not just keep going up. It does not keep going down. Usually it will drop and then go up again a little bit and then drop a lot more, go up a bit, drop a lot more, go up a bit. This is what we call a dead cat bounce. All right. So for us right now, we are really looking out for these dead cat bounces. Okay. And in fact, in this current market, this current drop, okay, I've circled for you the really the big dead cat bounces. In fact, um, last Friday was a very, very big one. All right. If you can see from the last candle here. Then stop drawing the dead cat. Okay, but it's kind of cute. Ah, yeah, come okay, on. So, this is the dead cat, okay. Okay, look at the mouse. But okay. okay, so you can see the last green, long green candle there. There was quite a big rally up. All right, so this is really, I, I believe this is a dead cat bounce. Okay, well, we go down today. There's a very high chance, but um, whether is it confirmed, you know, we can only wait until to the end of market close today to find out. Yeah. All right. So what is a dead cat bounce? Okay, um, for those who need to know, all right, it's just a temporary recovery after a very substantial fall. What what was the reason behind this? All right, because um, when the market gives up bad news, a lot a lot of people will start to sell their shares, and you know what? There is a finite number of shares that they can sell. All right, nobody, I I don't think anybody has infinite shares. So when the sellers have all exhausted their shares, okay. The price may come to a point where the buyers like you and me, all right, hopefully, what we want to take advantage. All right, so that's why after a very substantial fall, it's, there's a very high chance it will go up because people come in to take advantage. Okay, so that is the dead cat bounce. Mm. Okay, I hope you like my drawing. Uh, okay, so Joe, how then do we capitalize on the dead cat bounce? All right, to me, all right, because we are now in such a big bear market, all right, my suggestion, my recommendation is if you can, okay, if you don't, if you cannot hold the, your bullish positions for long, it is better to close your positions. Yeah, this is really better than doing nothing and let the losses keep piling up. Okay, of course, the next one, 
that you can do is really to buy put position on indexes and hopefully we are going to show you how we bought great companies for free. Okay, at this point, right, um, do we have any questions coming in? Can we take some questions? Yeah, so um, Daniel is asking, yeah, we'll cash out some profit, but do we wait for the next dead cat bounce? Or you can just buy another put. For okay. us, mm. we will wait. We yeah. will definitely wait for the next dead cat bounce. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so any other questions? Uh, no, so far, no. Okay, great. Okay, so let's just show them how did we buy great companies for free. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, this is what happened on the 3rd of, okay, no, 10th of March. Okay, 10th of March, if you, if you see okay. from at the right, this is our line. 11th of March, le, here. Le. Yeah, yeah, so, sorry, sorry, 10th of March, 10th of March. 10th of March, okay. Yeah, so at the 10th of March, you can see uh, our spare cash is actually 16,300. Oh, okay. Okay, so what happened was on the 11th of March, we did a custom... Um, we were trying out some special option strategies, okay. Um, on the SPY, we we're hoping for it to fall, okay. And by the twelfth of March, all right, because S and P five hundred really fell, okay. And ten of March, ten of March was actually it's no eleven of March was actually the dead cat bounce. Oh, okay. So okay? there was the dead cat bounce here, Yeah, okay. I showed the ten of March to show the the. Our original money, okay. Our original amount. Okay, so there was a decade bounce here. Yeah. Okay, and you bought a put position at the mm. decade bounce, lah. Okay. Correct. So after closing, uh, our positions on the twelfth of March, our cash went up to seventeen thousand plus. Okay. So we made actually thousand three hundred and sixty dollars in two days. Okay. And our ROI was forty seven point five percent. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you, yeah, I know people can make thousand percent, two hundred percent, but to me, in two days, forty seven point five percent percent is good enough. Mm. Okay, so we decided to close this position with the profits we got. We got 10 CBOE shares at $95.16 each. Basically, we got it for free. And it, even in doing so, we have an extra $409 pocket money. Which we used to eat the barbecue today. Okay, that's giving me a little bit of a sore throat, uh, the barbecue. Okay, so... Okay, we have two questions okay, here. Okay, we have two Dan questions. Ho, Dan Ho, Wei Zi, are you referring to um, your bullish... Companies, all right. Okay, for, so what's their question? Okay, for Ina, so do you know how high the day cap will bounce? Uh, don't know. I wish I know, but I really don't know. Yeah, okay, so uh, over here, right, we just want to remind everybody that nobody can time the market, okay? Mm. So you will never be able to predict, okay, you will never be able to predict the highest point, okay, of the day cap bounce. You will also never be able to predict the bottom, okay? Yeah. So what you can do, right, is you can actually do certain things, okay? You don't have to be exactly accurate. So like, for example, let's say you have a day cap bounce already over here. Huh? Yeah. Okay, then let's say you detected a day cap bounce somewhere here. Then what you can do is you can really buy a put position here. Yeah. And then after the, the next day or, or a few days later, when let's say the bear, the bear dominates, huh? so the bear is now here, okay? And you can never, never, never time the bottom. Huh? So even if, let's say you, okay, let's say you sell here. Okay, mm. you will still manage to make okay a, a profit in between here. So that's good enough actually. Yeah. You don't have to actually time until so accurate lah. Yeah. Okay, and nobody can actually time. Yeah, oh. basically saying yes, okay. So okay, what is the rationale for us? Do we hold when do we hold when do we sell? I ask myself these two questions. Number one, is the expiry date going to be very near? If yes, please close it. All right, for my posi bullish positions that's going to expire in 2022. Okay, I am still holding on because I really think okay there may be a chance that you will come up, all right by then. Okay, I, I think they're talking about this slide, right? Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. Let's, let's not compare. Okay. Okay. So anyway, uh, I just want to add in my two cents worth here. So okay, um, prior to this, it was actually the bull market. Okay, so actually Joe and I we also had certain existing buy call positions, right? Mm. Okay. So what happened was that we actually saw okay for the buy call position. So we actually have like buy call positions. What mm. happened was that. We actually saw that we actually were already in deficit. Like for example, it was actually maybe losing two hundred and eighty dollars or something like that. Mm. Okay, so now actually what we did right was that we closed this entire position. Okay, it is very painful, yes, to actually take this loss. Uh, but what you actually release from this, right? You actually release your capital mm. because you will. It will not be zero dollars. You see. You will actually be able to get back some capital. And what do you do with this capital? You can then use this capital to buy your put positions okay or the other way is you can use this capital to go and collect your strong companies okay um yeah. okay there are a few more questions okay um okay 
Clement is asking what's the strike we choose. Very simple. We are very, very simple. I like things simple and effective. Mm. I'll just do add the money. Add the money. Then you don't have to keep track and then you don't have to remember what strike price you got it at and all yeah, these yeah, kind yeah. of things. Just get it at the money. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's worked very well for us. Yeah. Okay. So, Kelvin is asking, is it a sell put? No, no, no. No, no, but buy, uh, buy. Uh, please do not sell put, please, please. Oh, no, no. Buy, no. buy, uh, buy. He's referring to the bullish position. Oh, bullish position. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, um, no sell puts for now. Um, We stopped doing sell puts like since last November, December. All right. Um, oh, is he asking what should he do with his self position? No, no, no. Our, posi our bullish position. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. We, we do not take any self positions. Those really. are long calls. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay, so this time we're talking about long calls. Lah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yi Kai is saying, can you explain buying puts? Only learn how to sell puts. Okay. Um, buying puts is a little bit difficult to actually be <laughs> explaining right here okay but at the very end we will actually share with you a powerful resource where you can actually learn how to do uh, this let us let us just try to attempt to really um a short one la. short one okay. okay because i do want to end this before market opens so that people can take action half an hour left nah, it's okay, okay it's okay let's okay. go okay when you buy actually you have the right to exercise the contract so when we do a buy put okay we have the right to sell our shares at the strike price all right so if you think about it how does a buy put make money Let's say if the share price is now $100, I foresee it dropping down. So I buy a put at the strike price $100. This means that I have the right to sell it at $100. Um, let's say if the share price drops to $50, let's say. Now, my contract allows me to sell it at $100. All right, therefore, it will really appreciate in value because now this contract is becoming more powerful. Okay, so this is essentially um, what Joe was explaining. So if let's say you buy the right to sell, okay, the stock at $100 and the stock actually goes down to $50, you actually gain, okay, uh, the intrinsic value of around $50, okay? Mm. Okay, so uh, this was actually, um, I think this position here represents the put position. Oh, this is the call. Okay, cannot. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so we don't have any example to show over here. Lah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but at, at the very, very end, we will actually share with you some powerful resources that you can use to actually learn uh, all these different option strategies. Yeah. Okay, I think let's continue uh, because this mm. is the, only the very first thing that they can do. Uh. Yeah. Okay, I think let's, the, the second one, very, very important. The mm. second powerful you can action you can take is to have a shopping list, okay, and know what prices you're going to enter at. Yes, definitely. Okay, so why is this critical? Okay, because very number one, when we do have a shopping list, we actually sieve out the strong companies, okay? You only want to invest in the very, very strong companies and sad to say, not all companies in the market are strong. And why do we need to set our entry prices? Because just because the price is lower now, especially in this bear market, doesn't mean that it's cheap. And from a technical point of view, when the price is cheap, it can get cheaper. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So over here, right? Um, it is very critical for you to actually learn about fundamental analysis and not just fundamental analysis, but actually be able to read through the 10K reports to really understand, right? Okay. What are the essential things that would actually shake the company? Mm. Because, right, you actually, okay, it's not just good enough to do fundamental analysis once, but you actually need to know when is it time, right, for you to let go of the company, mm. okay? So, if let's say the mode of the company is already shaken, right, you also need to uh, know that and then you have to actually take it off your, your shopping list as well, mm. okay? Mm. Okay, and you also actually need uh, knowledge on technical analysis because, right, the valuation, right, okay, based on book value per share, based on PG, based on P ratio, okay, these are valuations to help you to determine the intrinsic value of the company. But when you actually combine that with technical analysis, you are able to enter, right, at the right time. Because like what Joe said, cheap can get cheaper, mm. right? And you are able to look at all these technical trends, right, to be able to capitalize uh, and buy the stocks at the best price possible. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, current, and like what we shared just now earlier, if you are ha actually have knowledge of uh, options, Okay, not just buying uh, put options, but also selling put options. You can actually be able to gain profits regardless of market direction. And you can use the profits, right, to actually get your stocks for free. Yeah. Okay, we have a few questions. Let me just answer them very fast. Okay. Henry, yeah. Henry is asking why and the money, why not out of the money? Um, we just like to keep things simple. Okay, of course, nothing wrong with out of the money. Yeah. Because when we feel that we have more positions, we really cannot keep up. So... To us, it is better that we keep things simple and be able to monitor and observe it rather than you know, chase after maybe a few more dollars of profit, but we lose the big boat. Yeah. Uh, so, um, Celine is actually asking also what is the 10K report? Oh, the 10K report. Okay, so that one we were actually 
um, be sharing it with you at the very end. Okay, about mm -hmm. the powerful resources. Okay, yeah. so just uh, hold on to that. All right. Okay, basically, it's just a uh, it's an annual report of the company. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, what else? Okay. That's all. That's okay, all. Okay, that's all. Okay. Come, okay, so we have half an hour before market opens. Huh? Mm. Okay, so uh, we also want to share with, so we have shared two, uh, two powerful mm -hmm. steps that they can take, right? Number one, um, number one, when there is a dead cat bounce, it's very yeah. important uh, that they use this opportunity to close off their bullish position so that mm. they minimize the losses. If you cannot hold, yeah. or if you think, especially for this special situation, mm. this company that you're holding, it is super, super severely affected by the virus. Yeah. Okay, then I think, and plus, if the expiry is coming, right around the corner, it is better for us to close. All right, and then the second, uh, and then also during the dead cat bounce, it will, it will be a good time for you to buy the put position because you're actually buying it when the price is slightly on the high. Mm. Yeah, so that when the bear comes back, right, then you can actually capitalize on a lot more profits. Okay, that's mm. the first action. The second action is to actually have a shopping list, okay, mm. uh, of all the strong companies that you want to own. And not just that, but also have a proper entry plan, mm. all right? Okay, so for us, what exactly is our game plan, Joe? Okay, so we want to collect okay, some shares at each entry level because... <coughs> okay, so now your turn to actually call from all the barbecue meat. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's not COVID-19, okay, it's just barbecue. It's barbecue. Barbecue. Buffet. Yes. Okay, so um, because we don't know how... We cannot catch the bottom. Um, for us to estimate, guess, assume the bottom, it is impossible. So instead of doing that, what we like to do is actually as the price falls, we start to buy in. We buy little by little and hopefully um, we can average down our effective buy price. All right. And last but not least, we want to hold very, very fundamentally strong companies at awesome prices. Yeah. All right. So what do we do? Because our capital is also limited. We cannot possibly buy everything we want. If you can, uh, please. Yeah, please go ahead and go and buy uh, all your strong companies. Please yeah. invite me out for tea to maybe <laughs> I, I want to get to know you better. Also. Okay, but I think you better not eat barbecue with me already. Okay. Okay. So we what we do to actually get a little bit more capital is actually buy a put. Okay, like what we said earlier. For those who missed it, okay, I'm going to just quickly repeat it on indexes. Okay, you may ask why index? Why not uh, individual companies? Okay, for us, what we think now is that the US market they are desperately trying to boost the market. Okay, in fact, if I'm not wrong, they just announced a zero, zero percent in the Fed just announced a zero percent interest rate. If I'm not wrong, okay, I, I may be wrong, okay, I may have seen wrongly. All right, so they are running out of bullets, they are running out of stimulus to really boost the market. And we really feel that the market as a whole will continue to drop. That's why we go and buy a put on indexes like SPY, the, the ETFs. All right, uh, we avoid. Uh, individual companies because they may suddenly want to use their spare cash, especially if it's a fundamentally strong company with lots of cash, they may decide to do something with it and you see instead of the share price going down, you see it going up. All right. So whenever there's a major drop, we will try to close the put position and we use the profits from our buy put to collect even more strong businesses at the particular entry, entry level. Think about it. When you, when you profit from a buy put, it means that the share price has already dropped. So when you close, you take your profit straight away, instantly, you don't need to wait. You can buy a little bit of shares from the strong company that you always wanted. Yeah, okay, so let's show them. Uh, okay, so let's actually just share with them some bonus companies that we are prioritizing. Okay, okay. so actually, uh, you're actually really, really very excited for market to open today because what happened, right, was that last Friday, right, was mm. actually the day cat bounce, right? Mm. So we actually already bought a put. Okay, yeah. so today, right, you can see that the market is actually going down. Okay, because yeah. the pre-market, everything is going down and we are going to expect that we're going to get profits mm. and we are going to buy, use the profits to going to buy some strong businesses because it has already hit our next entry level. Okay, okay. so what is this company that we are going to buy? Okay, okay, I, I don't want to keep your guessing because market is opening. Okay, very excited. Okay. Uh. These two, these are really the companies that we are eyeballing. Okay, CBOE first. All right. Okay. okay. Okay, okay, this one is actually uh, to show them that, okay, if you want to know uh, more about CBOE and Disney, we actually did an analysis on YouTube before. Okay, so it's under the Infinity Stocks. Mm. Okay, so we covered CBOE under the Finale Endgame and we covered Disney in the Incredible Hawk. Mm. Okay, so uh, Disney, I think the talk is about when will people enter, right? Okay, okay, okay. the plan that I've, uh, I've set up, I'm, I, the original plan was to actually buy a bit, buy a bit as the price drops, but for Disney, we decided to wait. Why? Because of what is happening, Disney is super, super heavily hit by this virus. Okay, many theme parks, they closed many Disneylands, 
they are postponing many movies. You no, know, Mulan is going to be uh, postponed. So if you're if you are pro if you promise to bring your kids to watch Mulan, um, sorry, you cannot watch it. All right. Not only that, okay, our major sports leagues like EPL, NBA, they are all postponed or suspended. And because Disney owns ESPN, Broadcasting Network, and Fox, okay, and it comprises of Fox Sports, all these TV broadcasting will be affected. Okay, therefore, we want to wait for the Q1 report to be out because we really, really see that Disney's Q1 report will be very heavily affected. Okay, okay, so that's the barbecue meat. Okay, so yeah. this is actually the company that we are so looking forward to get today, okay? Mm. Finally, Joe, finally, it has reached our entry price of $90, finally. Yeah, so, so yes, yeah, we have okay. been looking at this piece Yay. of succulent meat for a very right. long time. We have our saliva is like drooling all over the place. Yay. Okay, so okay. What if, for those who don't know what is CBOE, basically, you know, we have your New York Stock Exchange, you have your okay nasdaq exchange cboe is the exchange for all options okay it is the largest it is the most popular options and you know what they they are the only company that allows you to trade spy or anything to do with uh, s p 500 all right what happened is that previous two weeks because of the market drop the volatility was extreme so many people are trading all right there is too much for them to handle and in fact if you look at the, some of the news all right they are February options, okay, volatility, volume jumped 64%. So let me ask you, in Q1, do you think that they are going to earn more money? I think there's a very high possibility. And this is one company that we want to get at least 100 shares. Why? Because when I have 100 shares, I can do sell covered costs and I can get consistent cash flows. Yes, okay, so we are really, when market opens, we really, really are going to actually buy the CBOE at $90 already, yes. Mm. Okay, All right. so right now, right, okay, um, we actually have, how long more to market open? 18 minutes to market open, okay? okay? So, right, okay, I think it's really, really very crucial that you have your own plan during this period of time, okay? I mean, there, there are a lot of opinions flying right now in the market, but you really need to own your plan, okay? Mm. So, right, we just want to show uh, you some of the students, right, that uh, we have in our deeper course, okay? So you can see we actually have three students and uh, all of them, right, you can see, um, they actually have their own entry plan. Can you see? Okay, mm. this student over here already has a list of, a shopping list of 14 stocks and she even has a tier one, tier two, tier three entry, mm. right? And we also have this other student, okay, with a list of nine stocks already, okay? And also tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, and we also have this other student, okay, already have a shopping list. Okay, so my question is, right, they are very prepared already when market opens today, Okay, and they will know exactly which stocks to buy. They will know exactly which tier they are buying at. Okay, mm. they are prepared. All right. Now, what? But how about you? Okay, why are we so so so? Why are we so anal about this thing? Because we we do not believe only profiting from the bear market because it is going to turn bullish. And right now, are you sowing seeds to reap massive massive gains in the bull market? All right, you just rewind time ten years, two thousand eight prices were so cheap. If you did put options, congratulations, you made a lot of money. All right. But if you have not invested in anything in 2008, 2009, sorry, but I'm, I don't think your portfolio is going to grow a lot. All right. Yeah. So that, this is really the best time to collect capital and sow seeds to let it grow. Yeah. So really, really, please, please do that. Okay. Yeah. So these are just some of the students that we have in our deeper course. Okay. Who have actually shared their shopping list with us. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that we can comment on them. Okay, and uh, right now, right, just before market opens, right, we want to share with you powerful resources that can last you a lifetime. Okay, mm. this is the one single decision, right, okay, that is really, really going to impact you for the next 10 years, okay? So, okay, remember uh, what we shared earlier before, right, that you actually, okay, actually at this current market, and actually in all the markets, mm. okay, uh, the important skill sets that you need, right, there are actually three of them, okay? So the first is actually fundamental analysis and um, being able to analyze the mode and being able to um, actually read through the 10K reports and know what to actually see about, okay? Mm. So why is this important? Because this allows you to identify strong companies to add to your shopping list. This also helps you, okay, uh, to be able to re -re review the mode, okay, of the company. If, let's say, a sudden news comes out, you also know when to drop off this company from your, from your list, okay? Mm. And second thing is... Um, um, you cannot also cannot ignore technical analysis because this one will tell you when to enter and when to exit. Okay, and finally, you actually also, uh, if let's say you want extra pocket money, it will be great to have option strategies because this will actually supercharge your ROI. 
Mm. Okay. Yeah. So we want to go through this very quickly because at the very end, we want to show you our, our, our watch list. Yeah. So that you can actually have that as a reference. Okay. When market opens later yeah. on. Okay. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, immediately, what can you do, right? To gain these three important skill sets. Okay. So these are some books that we actually read when we first got started. Okay. So for fundamental analysis, okay. Um, the book that actually really, really helped us a lot was this book called uh, Warren Buffett and the Interpretation of Financial Statements. Mm -hmm. Okay. For technical analysis, uh, we actually look up a lot to Adam Koo. Yeah, mm. he's technical and because he actually is a trader, he's an investor. Yeah, he does options as well. Yeah, so we actually learned a lot uh, from how he reads the market. Yeah, mm. and in fact, for him, um, he actually trades in um, in a as a daily affair. Yeah, yeah, so he actually is very, very um, he's very, very sharp when it comes to technical signals. All right, mm. and for option strategies, okay, if you want to learn everything about options, we have this friend uh, called Daniel. He recommended this book to us uh, called Buy and Hedge. Okay, so mm. this one contains. A lot of option strategies that would be enough, okay, mm. to actually get you through every market. And All trust right? me, his options knowledge is yes, amazing. mind blowing. All right, okay. okay. So anyway, uh, we actually have these three books, okay. If you want to actually gain these skill sets immediately, all right. Okay. Uh, the second thing, right, is please do not neglect your community, okay. Like for those of you, right, you, uh, who are actually like you know students of Buffer Online School, please go in to go and learn from um, the market analysis. That's happening inside there. Okay, there, there are actually videos happening there all the time, and from there, right, you know, don't just take the the companies and copy wholesale. You know, uh, go one step further and think about what is the thinking process. You know, when mm. when this particular trainer or this particular coach goes through this company, what is his thinking process? Yeah. You know, and actually try to learn from the thinking process. Okay, yeah. and for those of you who are actually um, students of Tao, okay. Uh, they actually go through um, a detailed process of technical analysis and trends and you can uh, follow that. If you're not sure of anything, you can put it up in the community as well. And for those, both, for those of you who are in the Options Mastery Program, yeah, you can also um, continue with that group because there are lots of option strategies that are being shared in that group as well. Mm. Okay, and if you do not belong to any of these groups, okay, all you have to do is just type investing and there are actually a whole lot of uh, investing groups, okay? Yeah. So from here, you can actually harness the, the power of the community, okay? Mm. Uh, for that lah. Oh, actually, ours is featured here also. Yay. Okay, yay, we actually featured here. Okay. Oh, and that's Sean, okay, our mentor. Yay, okay. So, okay, number three, right? I think this is the most powerful thing, okay? If you really, really want to um, uh, grow, right, in terms of fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and options, right, all in one, right? Okay, I think getting a mentor is really the shortcut to success. Okay, but this one doesn't come cheap. Mm. This one is very, very costly because usually for you to get a mentor, you need to actually first enroll in the course, right? Okay, so based on, um, okay, based on, our, if, if, if you recall, right, each of us actually spend like 10K, right? Mm. Okay, on actually everything, like, on mm. to learn FA, to learn TA, and to learn options, like, correct? Yeah. Okay, and uh, this was actually, uh, when we were going to find the market price for everything, this is actually what we got. Like. Yeah. So if you want to learn TFA, TA options, right, uh, approximately you, have, you will have to spend 7K to 11K. Mm. Yeah, but in doing this, you will get a mentor and this is a shortcut to a success. Okay, to me, actually this 10K is very well spent for us to get good mentors. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, so then, um, okay, because market is opening in like five minutes. No, 15. 15. Henry, yeah, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, okay. So is there a more straight, so you may be asking, is there a more straightforward way for me to learn all these three skills in one? Okay, mm. so, okay, knowing that actually there was this market demand, right? Actually, last year, right, we actually came up with this uh, deeper strategy in the stock market together with our mentor, Sean, over here, okay? So actually, um, we realized that there isn't really a single course in the market that actually has all three. Yeah. F A T A options. Okay. So we actually decided to do a course that has everything. Mm. F A T A options. Okay. So in F A, we actually will teach you how to read all the ten K reports. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And then in T in T A, you would actually learn uh, all the different uh, technical indicators that we actually use, mm. including the one that helps us to actually determine the tier entry. Yeah. Okay. And then we also learn option strategies, not just for the bear market, not just for the bear market, but also you will learn the option strategies for the bull market. Okay. And not just that, also when the market is neutral. Okay. How do yeah. you actually capitalize on option strategy? And uh, we actually also uh, continually research new option strategies and we share that with the group as yeah. well. And we share that in this exclusive mentorship group. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where we share our live updates and then we also share what's our thinking process and all mm. that. Okay. And um, so we actually had uh, students. Yeah, Henry is here with us today, right? We're so happy. Yeah. Because he just shared, you know, that. Um, yeah, three months since he decided to change the game plan. So he actually joined us. Uh, Henry actually joined us three months ago. Lah, okay. Mm. And you can see that after he changed his game plan, he actually had a return of uh, 74%. And we are so happy for him. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry. We are so happy. Yeah. So remember to stand by your, your philosophy. So he invested in himself and he has seen a turnaround in his portfolio. Okay. 
Um, so we have uh, this other student, David, as well. Okay, so he actually did, doesn't have much experience <coughs> in the stock market. Okay, um, and he and we are so like glad to know, right, that this was actually the best online course he has ever bought because um, it actually contains FA, contains TA. Not just that, it also helps him to manage risk properly and also helps him to learn options. And mm. uh, the key thing is that for people with uh, very small capital, you can still use options. Yeah. Okay, and then we also have um, uh, Lucas, okay, uh, who actually came uh, to this course as a beginner and we really, really want to provide lifelong support to all of you and we really welcome all the questions, yeah, mm. okay. And, um, okay, we actually have this uh, power student, okay, this is really, really power action taker. She actually spent more than 10K in two different schools there mm. to learn basic advanced options, but still, right, um, she still could learn many new things from this course. Mm. Yeah, okay, so we just want to share with you, right, that, um, you know, the best investment you will ever make is actually in yourself, okay? So regardless of whether you are a beginner or maybe you're already very advanced, mm. okay? I think there's always something that we can we can always learn, mm. yeah, okay? And um, like, for example, even Lenny, right? I mean, she had already spent uh, 10K in two different schools, but still she could learn learn stuff from from Sean and ourselves, right? Mm. And also like, look, uh, like for example, David, right? He has mm. bought many, many online courses before, but still he continues to buy, he continues to invest in himself, yeah. So since the bear market is a once in a lifetime opportunity, right? Okay, so the best investment that you will ever make is actually in yourself. Yeah. And okay, so for those of you who are wondering, actually the public price is uh, 1,000, 997 mm, like USD. Mm, okay. Mm. And uh, if let's say you join our deeper strategy, which was crafted by ourselves and Sean, okay, what you would actually learn is fundamental analysis, TA as well as options. And you will also get to join our <laughs> exclusive uh, mentorship group. I think this is actually the most powerful thing. Yeah, because you get to learn from the community and you also will be personally mentored by us. Okay. Mm. And uh, and in the shit to that, right? Because market is opening in how long time? Five, seven minutes. Okay. We also have five exclusive bonuses for you today, yeah? Okay, so what are these five exclusive bonuses? Okay, wow, so many. Okay, so number one, okay? Immediately um, after you have gotten this course, okay, you can actually book an appointment with us. We will have a 30-minute private uh, portfolio consultation session with you. This can take place through a phone call. This can take place through a video call, okay? We will actually look at your portfolio, like what we have done for the other students, and we'll give you our comments on it, okay? Mm. And second thing, we will actually show you our live trades, okay? Mm. So we will actually share with you our options trade journal, Okay, which will be very, very helpful to you uh, to help you to encourage you to take action. Okay, and uh, bonus number three is we will continue to have monthly webinars on, on this particular uh, um, deeper mastery group. Okay, so that uh, regardless of bull or bear market, right, uh, we will actually share timely information in there as well. And I think bonus number four is uh, very, very important. You get lifetime support. So if you have any questions at all, you can continue to post it up there. Yeah. Okay, and okay, so if you're counting, it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's one final bonus, mm. right? Okay, the final bonus is that we are going to offer um, this uh, particular course, right, the deeper strategy for the stock market at a 75% discount for today. Mm. Okay, so just for today, um, in addition to learning FA, TA, okay, uh, FA, TA and options, right? Okay, you will actually get to uh, receive all these five bonuses from, from us because we really believe, right, that in the bear market, right, we really, really want you to capitalize um, on all this investment knowledge so that you can really uh, get maximum gains yeah, from this bear market mm. and be ready for the bull market as well. Yeah. Okay, so if you're interested to actually uh, get all these five bonuses for yourself and actually get it at the 75% discount, okay, uh, the link to sign up is right over here. Okay, so just uh, just have to go into HTTPS. Okay, uh, what's this a colon, is it? Dot, dot. Okay, and then colon backslash, now. backslash, tinyurl.com. A backslash and then in caps Joe Sarah 75 discount. Okay, so this is just for today. We will be offering the course at a 75% discount along with the five different bonuses. Mm, okay, mm. I think we are actually doing quite well. Wait, on there time, is a uh. question. Okay, wait, okay. how right. many days expiry for buy put? How many okay. days expiry for buy put? Okay. okay, so um, this is my thinking process. I don't know whether it's correct or not, but to me, I think it seems reasonable. I would expect the Q1 report to be out in. Um, most of the companies May. are around April. All right, in around Ma two, April and May. Yeah, right. April, yeah. May, April, May, around two mm. two months. Yeah. All right. So I'll, I'll I think three months should be a very very safe time. But okay, in order to have, let us have a little bit more time to be correct, right? I will actually double the time frame. So at least a six month. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So if let's say like the Q one uh, earnings right is very bad. Okay, mm. then I can continue to profit from the 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 downside of the yeah. share price, and then mm. I, I can close it comfortably at least thirty days before expiry, so yeah. that I don't have to go and pay for the time decay. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so I hope that answered your question, Beizhi. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So uh, for those of you who want to actually um, we're actually waiting for our watch list. We are going to show it right now. After, do we have other questions there? Okay. 
Henry, okay, Henry. Okay, Henry. Yeah. Say bye bye. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. So okay, okay. before this, we really want to share with you uh, our full watch list. Yeah. Okay, so our full watch list. Do you have any other questions before we show our full watch list? No, no. Okay, no. Mm. so okay, our full watch list. Okay, so this right is our entire watch list. Uh. okay, we have uh twelve stocks all together. Okay, so let me just uh share a little bit about what we are going to do with all these uh twelve stocks. Okay, we have five minutes before market close. Okay, so um okay for SPY, let's just share very openly. We actually already reached tier two, so we have collected some over here already. Yeah. Right. Okay, for FXI, right? Um, we actually um okay, uh, we actually already collected some over here. Yeah. And we are still waiting a little bit. Mm. Okay, for Disney, just now we mentioned, right, because of the closure of all the theme parks and all that, we yeah. really uh we really think that their Q1 earnings are not gonna be very good. Yeah. So it's probably gonna go down even more. Lah. So over here for Disney, even though we have this in our plan, we are still going to wait. Yeah. Okay, CBOE, I'm so excited. In five minutes' time, uh, we are going to get it at $90. That is our tier three price, you know. So we are definitely going in. Yeah. Okay, for CBOE, and just now you already saw that we actually um already took some, right? Just now. Yeah. Okay. And uh for Baba, we actually um uh during the 20 is it 2018, we mm -hmm. actually collected some at around 158. Lah. Okay. And then uh for Facebook, uh, uh for those of you who actually were with us from the beginning, we collected at 125 already. Okay, and then uh, for Berkshire, we already actually collected some at tier one. Mm. Okay, for Oxy, right, uh, we are going to advise for you all to wait because the, the oil prices are going to go down even more. Lah. Okay, mm. Okay, so um, yeah, that's all for, yeah, for us. Feel free to take a screenshot, okay? Yeah. Feel free to take a photo. All right. All right. Okay, um, and go and take action when maybe, market okay, opens. One more last question, oh, one last question. Okay. Why don't we use other indicators like MACD, okay, stochastics? Okay. Uh, for me, the answer is very simple. My eyes go blur when I see all these things. And I really, really feel that um, what works for me the best is really the moving average support resistance. And also, um, actually Fibonacci. Sometimes yeah. we use uh, Bollinger Bands as well. Yeah. So for Stochastics and MACD, right, uh, I actually use it selectively. Lah, okay, but I will not share it here because it's uh, too much information already yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. as of now. Okay, yep. so if you have any uh, questions on um, on these bonuses, you can also feel free to type it in in the Q&A. Mm. And we really wish you all the best. And yeah, just capitalize on this bear market. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So when, when will this uh, code, this uh, discount code, when will it expire? Oh, today, today. Today. 359. Okay, why not? Okay, okay. maybe we just extend it to extend, maybe... Huh? Um, Sunday. 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 Huh? Okay? Yeah. Sunday. Okay, that's actually a lot of days after this. Leh. Yeah. Okay, but by then, or maybe the bear gone already. Leh. No, but but it's really <laughs> also for people who, who didn't okay, okay. didn't get to see. Okay, this so video. Joe is very kind lah. Okay, we'll extend this uh bonus all the way till Sunday. Yeah, so if you are interested to actually learn more and get all these five bonuses, uh we will actually um see you in our exclusive mentorship group. All right. Okay, so till then uh we will just be happily uh re replying to your questions right now. Okay, mm -hmm. so market is open already. All right, okay, yeah, so okay, go good. and yeah, go and make all your profits, okay? Okay, that's okay, all. Bye bye, bye, -bye. everybody. Okay.